Hey everybody, Lou Just Lou here. Today we're going to do a bit of uh, an experiment using denatured alcohol and dry ice, uh, frozen carbon dioxide. One of the interesting properties is uh, the different freezing temperatures of these products. So dry ice is uh, minus 78 Celsius, minus 109 Fahrenheit. Alcohol though doesn't freeze until minus 114 or minus 173 Fahrenheit. So what you can do is get this so cold that it doesn't freeze, but anything with water in it will freeze fairly quickly because it's so cold. So I've got a little bit of dry ice back here in this container. I'm gonna fill this bowl with some denatured alcohol. The only thing uh, to keep in mind is you're gonna need some safety glasses in case this splashes. You don't really want to get it in your eyes. And I have some uh, a baby fire extinguisher here. It is flammable, so you have to be careful to keep it away from flame. So let's fill this up so that we have enough room to submerge everything we're going to freeze today. Dry ice is very cold, um, you get frostbite almost immediately. So I have some uh, Nomex and Kevlar gloves here that will protect my hands. You'll see these a lot um, when people are doing Halloween because it makes a really cool vapor. Um, and once I drop it in here, you can see it looks like it's boiling. It's not boiling, it's sublimating. It's actually turning from a solid to a gas. And what you can see flowing over the sides is actually carbon dioxide. Probably a little water vapor. Get that good and cold. Now, fairly soon, you'll start to see condensation forming and then freezing on the side as this liquid gets colder and colder. I've got some good old-fashioned blueberries here. Yep, real blueberries. We'll drop those in. We've got some grapes, regular grapes. We'll drop these in. pretty cool. So we're going to let those sit there for a while. But in the meantime, I've got some flowers. And these are kind of cool. So you can really freeze these fairly quickly. And then they'll shatter. Frozen solid, and they just break. Let's try a little bigger one. Shh. Flowers giving up their lives for science. Poor Rose. <laughs> All right. So the grapes and blueberries have been in there a while. Let's see about them. Let's move this over. Clean up a little bit. Let me grab a blueberry. 
Oops. They're, they're hard. They're hard to pick up. Here. Here's a great. <laughs> Oop, that one shattered. <laughs> one last blueberry. So, as you can see, pretty cool experiment to do, just showing the difference in the uh, freezing points of different substances. Uh, a lot of folks uh, will have the same experiment out there using. Um, liquid nitrogen. That's a lot more expensive to purchase and uh, more difficult to store, uh, but it does a really cool job. I've seen people freeze tennis balls and rubber balls and they shatter when you drop them, so it's pretty cool. But uh, definitely something you want to try. Um, the denatured alcohol I bought at the hardware store, Lowe's. The dry ice I'm able to pick up at grocery stores here in town. They have a special section where you can buy it and uh, a lot of fun to do. Thanks everybody, bye.